Dad, I know why you keep threatening Vincent this way. Well, you know, I can explain. No, everything. you don't have to explain, honey. You say you don't like Vincent because he's a tabloid reporter, but that's not it. That's not it at all. This is about sex. No, no, Whitney. Whitney, this is not what you think, okay? Yes, it is. Dad, it's exactly what I think. Jess, your big brother and best friend. The only reason why they act like they care about you is because they have the hearts for each other. This white man is good. My little wife likes everything I tell her. Put out an APB on Luis. Come on, There's no way he's going to escape again. We'll get him, Chief. Fancy, how are you so sure that Sharon's even with Luis? I just know, that's all. She left here right before Sam and the police showed up. She must have been the one who picked Luis up in her car. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that my wife is willing to put a neck on the life of Luis like this. I'm sorry, Chris. I know it must hurt. And I'm sure Sheridan loves you and James in her way, but remember, she's a crane. She's your aunt, Fancy. And I hate to break this to you, but you're a crane, too. Yes, but I was Alistair's favorite granddaughter growing up. I never saw the evil side of him, but Sheridan did. And my father wasn't exactly a prize back then, either, so with a father and a brother like that, <laughs> setting the example, it's no wonder she's such a master manipulator. I don't believe that, Fancy. Sharon's a good, caring person. Well, she also learned from the best how to get what she wants when she wants it. When Sheridan decides what she wants, she wants it now. You should be safe here for a while. The family doesn't usually come up here during the winter. So no one will know that we're here. I'm going to go check the pantry make sure we have supplies. No, 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 hold on a second. No, we need to talk about what you said in the car. Is that true? Are you really still in love with me? Well, he's out of danger, but he's still a very, very sick man. But he's going to be okay, right? He should be. Oh, thank God. I was so scared, Jared. Hi. Tess. I think I'm going to be okay. How do you feel? Well, seeing you a million times better. Good. Dr. Russell, she, she said you're going to be all right. Yeah. You didn't think I was going to die when I'm about to marry the most beautiful woman in the world, did you? Or is that Judge Riley, anyway? Is he still here, right? We need to start up the ceremony. Jared, oh, I'm not going to allow that. You're going to have to postpone the wedding until you're stronger. No, postpone, no, no, no. I'm, I'm fine. I just want to get married tonight. Honey, you just came out of surgery. You're not in any condition to do anything except sleep. You know what? Actually, we, we could have a, a very short ceremony, and, and Jared doesn't even have to get out of the bed. Maybe in a few days, when your vitals are stable, you can call Judge Riley to come back. But until I see a marked improvement in your condition, uh, no, there's not going to be any wedding. Not in this hospital. Do we understand each other? So Jared lived through the surgery. Teresa still wants to marry him. Steve made them postpone the wedding, which means I still have time to convince Teresa not to marry him. And to marry me. Four. It's so obvious. Whitney, listen to me. You have it all wrong. Jack, okay, I'm... honey, I know what I'm talking about. You're jealous. Jealous. You're jealous of Vincent, honey. You think that 
he's after me or something. You think that's why we were here together? Whitney, I, I, I Jet, never... Jet, honey, it's okay. I can see it, you know? I, I can tell. <laughs> I just don't know why I didn't see it before. But, honey, you are so wrong. We both know who Vincent really loves. It's Valerie, right? I mean, that's why we were here. We were waiting for Valerie to show up. So don't you see, honey? It's just all one big misunderstanding. Now, I think you should apologize to Vincent for the way you've been treating him, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Honey? Sorry. Hey. No problem. <laughs> look, uh, it doesn't look like Valerie's gonna show up, so I'm just gonna take off. Okay, well, let's get together for dinner again really soon. How about that? Oh, that, that would be great. <laughs> right, good night. Good night. Good night. <sighs> Sorry, sweetheart. You know what? It's okay. I have to say, I kind of like it that you're jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just don't want to lose you. Oh, baby, you never will. You're the only man I'll ever love. You don't have anything to worry about from Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I know you're disappointed, Teresa, but you wouldn't want to be responsible for Jared having a relapse now, would you? No, of course not. So, uh, I said I'm just going to call Judge Riley and tell him that we're going to postpone the wedding, okay? I'm sorry, Tess. Jared, I don't want you to be sorry. We're going to get married later when you're better, right? I will be right back. I love her, Dax, so much. And I need to marry her as soon as possible. And you will, as soon as possible. That means when you're in perfect condition and I release you from the hospital and not before. Oh, come on. Have a heart. Have you forgotten what just happened to you? You had a seizure at the ceremony. You came close to dying. I really don't want to repeat that kind of drama, if you don't mind. All right. Okay, you win. Actually, I'm kind of tired. I could use some sleep. I see. Sleep, that is the best thing that you could do for yourself. I'm going to have the nurse come in and give you a sedative. Okay. I'm certainly glad you're starting to take doctor's orders. <laughs> well, I hear you, Doc. I didn't say anything about taking any orders. Hello? Yeah. In my church room. How did you know that? Yeah, I know you know every move that I make. No. We can't get married tonight. Dr. Russell said that we can't. Look, um, what, okay, we were in the ceremony, and then he just, he had a seizure. I don't know, maybe, maybe he's, he's still recovering from the, the bullet wound in his chest, okay? But right now he's in surgery. I, I think he's going to be okay, but Dr. Russell said we can't get married until he's all better. Look, I just, I need a little bit more time to follow through with what you want me to do. I know what's at stake here. My brother's lives are in danger if I don't follow through and marry Jared and stay away from Ethan. I will, okay? I promise I will. Hi. Ethan. So I was right. You do still love me, don't you? No. Teresa, I heard you on the phone just now, okay? Someone's forcing you to marry Jared. You know what? You heard wrong. I didn't hear wrong. I didn't hear wrong. Someone's forcing you to stay away from me and marry Jared. I want to know who, and I want to know why. Oh! Oh! I'm so sorry. M my fault. I... Did you, uh, did you have any luck? Yes, I did. 
It took a lot of research and a lot of patience, but I found your son. Honey, honey, what are you carrying on about? I mean, I told you, didn't I? You told me and I didn't listen. You were right. I'm all alone. No, no, sweetie, not alone. You got me, baby. You got me. Noah and Paloma said they cared about me, that they wanted to help me. They said that they loved me. Oh, honey. Damn, I told you not to trust them. I swear, they don't care about anyone except each other. See, maybe now you believe me. You're right. Honey, aren't I always... Sweetheart, nobody loves you. Nobody but me, Jess. And I hope now you realize that I'm the only one that cares about you, honey. I'm the only one that loves you. And baby, you need to stick with me. Yeah, and to forget about those losers downstairs. What's wrong? Did you hear that? Uh, I, I thought I heard something, like someone coming in. I didn't hear anything. No, your dad's at the office, and your sister's upstairs sleeping. There's no one here but us. Hmm. I guess it was just my imagination. I guess it was. Yeah. I really care about you, but, um... No, no buts. Not tonight. What are you saying, Fancy? Sheridan's going after something that she wants. Are you implying that Luis is what she wants? Yes. That's why I think she helped Luis escape. I'm sorry, Chris. I can't believe she did a thing like this. Jeopardize our marriage, risk losing James. I mean, I knew she had feelings for Louise. I guess I just never knew how deep those feelings ran. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you should take off the blinders, Chris. My Aunt Sheridan is a beautiful and giving woman, but she's the worst kind of crane. A predator through and through. A predator, Fancy? Isn't this just the jealousy talking? I mean, aren't you jealous that Sheridan and Louise had a relationship in the past? All right. I admit I'm jealous, but I am telling you the cold, hard facts, Chris. Sheridan can't help what she is. It's in her blood. Well, then it's in your blood, too, isn't it? I suppose it is. But I don't think I inherited that gene. The one that makes Sheridan want to have you and your son tucked away at home, but Louise still on the side. Look, I, I've confronted Sheridan about this. She denies it completely. Well, she's lying. That's why she keeps trying to come between me and Louise. She can't bear the thought of him being with me or anyone else. She wants him all to herself. Enough, Fancy. I don't want to hear any of this. Well, I don't want to say it either, but it's true. Abby, what the hell are you doing here? Well, I heard that the police had cornered Luis, and I thought that Fancy might, might be here. Mother. Oh, Fancy, honey. Oh, thank God. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just worried sick about Luis. Well, Sheridan, did you mean what you said in the car? Police, I was driving like a maniac. I was trying to get away from the police. I know. But you said that you are still in love with me. Was that a mistake? What was that? I was giving up everything to be with you. I gave up my husband, my child. I was even giving up my freedom. I know, and I wish you would go back to Harmony. You realize if you're caught with me, you're going to be arrested as my accomplice. Yes, yes, I know. And you could go to prison. Listen, Sheridan, I can't have you sacrificing everything for me, okay? Haven't I done that already? 
If you leave now, you'll have time to think of an alibi, something to tell Chris and the police. No. No, I'm not going back. I'm going to be arrested no matter what I say. And Chris will understand why I'm here. Understand? You think that he'll understand? I'll tell you something. If I was your husband, I wouldn't understand. He'll understand because he knows how I feel. How you feel? About me? He knows we will always have a bond because of Marty. Oh, my God. Should have seen this one oh, coming. See, seen what? No, Sharon, I really do appreciate you wanting to help. But I can't have you getting in any more trouble than you're already in, okay? I'm taking you back to the army. No, now, come on, get no, in the no, car, no. Sheridan. I'm not going anywhere. Well, it is getting kind of late. Maybe we should get home to Miles. Mm -mm. Not yet. We have a sitter. We heard that we could spend any time alone together. Let's take advantage of it. Okay. You're right, you know. It would be nice to spend more time alone. Just the two of us. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't ever have to be jealous. <laughs> You're the only man that I want, honey. The only man that I love. And you are the only woman I love. Glad you could get away, Eve. I didn't want to hear what Valerie has to tell us when we were at the hospital. Oh, I agree. You never know who could be listening. It's true. This is somewhat sensitive information. So what do you have here? Well, as you can see, it's a lot. Oh, I'm surprised you were able to get so much information so quickly. I mean, when Julian and I were looking for our son, we just kept coming up against brick walls. Erected by my father, as it turns out. I'm so sorry, Mr. Crane. How did you, uh, come up with all this? I hacked into the computers at Children's Services. My program has never had any luck getting into that system. Well, I called in a few favors and voila, I found your son. Why is so much of it blacked out? Is that normal? It's not usual that a minor's file would be so censored, but according to my contacted state, it was done by a well-meaning social worker. Oh. Why would they have done that? To protect the child. To protect him from what? What? They might have thought prospective adoptive parents wouldn't want the boy if they knew his entire history. Like what? I don't know. But he was obviously abused. He was brutalized. God knows what people did to that poor boy. You can't lie to me about this anymore. I know that somebody's forcing you to marry Jared and stay away from me. Now tell me what is going on so I can fix it. You know what? You misunderstood me, okay? That, that isn't what I said. That is exactly what you said. And I know you're doing this to help your brothers beat their convictions, no, Teresa. No, you know what? I not talk about this right here, okay? You, hey, you, you have to talk to me about this. Because I need to know who's behind this. Let me help you with this. You can't help me. Right? You are the last person who can help me. What do you mean by that? Just trust me, Ethan. You cannot help me. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Unless this has something to do with that secret that you've been keeping from me since Rome. Why exactly did you not tell Ethan that he's little Ethan's real father? Yeah. You heard the advice he told his friend to stay with his wife and sue the mother of the child for joint custody, yeah? If I told Ethan that little Ethan is his son, you'd do the same thing to me. I've already lost Jane to Ethan and Gwen. I will not lose my son to them, too. Teresa, is that what this is all about? Come on, come on, this is too damn important. For once and for all, Tell me what you're hiding from me, please. Oh, sweetheart, lighten up, honey. 
know I hate to see you upset like this. I just feel so alone. Nobody really loves me. What? Honey, have you been here singing? Have you been listening to what I've been telling you, honey? They said you didn't love me. If you loved me, you wouldn't make me turn tricks. You wouldn't hit me either. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's, that's love taps. Listen to me, baby. Look at me. Look at me, honey. I love you. I loved you. I loved you the first second that I saw you. Baby, I always put you first. Always. Really? Would I lie, honey? Huh? Look, let's just, let's just let's just get out of here, right? Let's just go someplace where nobody can bother us. Let's just let's just leave all these phonies behind. What do you say, honey? This is wrong. This is uh, very wrong. I, I can't do this, Paloma. Uh, not here, not like this, not in my father's living room. You deserve so much more than this. But I want you. Uh, and I, I want you, too. But look, when we make love for the first time, it, it should be special. It should be uh, romantic and wonderful. Not in a rush because we're worried that someone's going to walk in the front door. No one's going to walk in the front door. Uh, oh, you, I, I just... Paloma, look, I care about you a lot. I care about you so much. I just... I think it's too soon for us to take this next step. You really think it's too soon? <sighs> look, I... No. Loma, I, I really thought I loved Fancy, but, but we moved too fast, you know. We weren't ready for this intense, serious, committed relationship. And I don't want to make that same mistake with you. You know, I, I, I really want to get to know you before we, you know, take that next step. And then when we do, I promise you, it'll be, it'll be amazing. Beautiful. It'll be something we'll never forget. I think you're the most romantic man I've ever known. Uh, let's notify the Canadian officials and the, uh, the Border Patrol to be on the lookout. I want this entire town sealed. You got that? There's no way Luis is going to escape this time. So, Fancy, where is Luis? He escaped, Mother. Sheridan helped him. Sheridan? Yes. Not so loud. Oh, so, Sheridan is with Luis. Yeah, she found out where he was hiding and she went to him. She's been helping him stay hidden. Oh. What about dear beloved hubby over there? Don't tell me he was helping Luis. No, he was actually surprised. So Sheridan just left her husband and her child to run off with Louise? Mother, I have been telling you. I have been telling everyone. Sheridan wants her husband and her son and Louise. She's greedy, just like grandfather. She wants it all because she's a spoiled, rotten brat. She's a crane, Fancy. Just like you and your sister. You've all inherited the crane temperament, which is why what happened between you and Pretty happened. Oh, Mother, please do not talk to me about my sister. I never want to hear her name again. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Just calm down. We we have some bigger problems here. Where are you, Sheridan? No. I'm not leaving you alone, Louise. Well, there's no way that you're staying here. Sheridan, it's too dangerous. I knew it would be dangerous when I picked you up and drove you here. I am staying with you. I am going wherever you go. Oh, that's not going to happen. Because I don't even know where I'm going. I said wherever you go. You know what? You know, it's pointless to argue with you when you're like this. You just need to get some sleep, okay? Fine. Fine. 
You take the bedroom, I'll take the couch. You know what? I am so tired, I could sleep on rocks. Yeah. I'm exhausted, too. Look, try not to worry, Luis, okay? I'm worried about you. Don't be. You know why I'm doing this, don't you? I want to protect you. I know you're not guilty of the charges against you. Well, thank you for believing me. Of course I believe in you. I know you would never rape a woman, especially one that you care so much about, like Fancy. And I know that you didn't kill Ray, or anyone else for that matter. Someone is definitely out to make you look guilty. Yeah, they're doing a pretty good job of it, too. Well, I'm going to help prove that you're innocent. You realize that may be easier said than done. The evidence against me, it's evidence I can't refute. Yeah, I know. But hiding in the pantry with the ski mask on after Fancy was raped... Well, didn't make I you wasn't guilty. hiding, Sheridan. I was drugged. Someone put me in that pantry. You have no proof of that, do you? No. No. And the guards on the Crane Estate, they couldn't find anyone suspicious. And the... Only person Fancy saw in her room the last time she was attacked was me. I think I know how the attacker got in and out of Fancy's room without oh. actually being seen. Oh. Well, there are secret passageways that my father put into the house, secret openings in the walls. Yeah, I thought of that, but who else knows about them? A lot of people, I'm sure. Especially since my father showed all of us how he could disappear right before our eyes at his and Teresa's wedding. Don't you think Sam had the police search the house for all the secret passageways who knows you know if i could just find the guy who was pretending to be me when he bought that acid i'm going to help you but not tonight you need to get some rest yeah you too good night good night Drag Sheridan into this. I can't believe this is even happening. I have no clue how to stop it. Sheridan, you're not a terrible person. Yes, I am. Fancy's right. I have been trying to come between the two of you for months now. And even when I realized what I was doing, I couldn't stop myself. What is wrong with me? Well, Sheridan, you're not a terrible person. Okay? Not at all. You're not the first person I've known to be blackmailed. And obviously you're very afraid to tell me what this person no, has I'm on you, Teresa. Just... just what? You're not being honest with me. You're not. I need to know if this has anything to do with whatever it is that you've been keeping from me. No. Teresa, you're telling me that this has nothing to do with the secret that you've been keeping no, from me. No, it doesn't. I'll leave it alone, please. Fine. 
Fine, I'll leave it alone. But you need to promise me something. That you're not going to do something stupid like run off and marry Jared. I can't promise you that. Give me a little bit of time. A little bit of time to work on your brother's cases. And in the meantime, you are going to promise me that you're not going to marry Jared. Dr. Russell said that we, we can't get married until he's better anyway. So. Okay, that's, that's great news because that gives me a little more time. I'm going to ask you one more time. Promise me you're not going to run off and marry Jared. I can't. Yes, you can. You can say it, Ethan. I'm going to promise you this. Just Ethan. do it. Please. I promise. Thank you. I'm going to help your brothers. And you will not have to marry Jared. Why was our son proof? say in here what happened to him? No, but I'm sure if we could read those blacked out lines, we'd have a better idea. Someone obviously hated him or was afraid of him. I don't know where he is exactly right now, but you can see for yourself how he spent his life. He's always on the move. I can keep digging and see what else I can come up with. Would you please? Um, can you excuse me? Of course. Thank you, Valerie. You know, uh, Vincent was waiting for you, but he finally left. He's probably furious. I, I, I feel terrible. I got held up with work. I was doing a favor for someone. Right. Well, you know what? He's more disappointed than angry. You know, Vincent really cares about you. You think? I hope so, because I really care about him. Yeah, you told me that before. Um, So do you feel the same way still, or...? Even more so. And he's handsome and kind and smart and so sexy. He's totally hot in bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Jess. What do you say, honey? Let's go. Spike. No, no, no. Hey, honey, look. I swear to God, I'll take care of you, baby. I, I know what you like, honey. the right thing? I think so. Even though I'm aching to be with you. Mm, trust me, I'm aching as well. But look, I think waiting will make it more special. Yes. Good. Now, what do you say we go upstairs and check in on Jessica? Okay, good idea. Do you think our son was abused because he was of mixed race? No, I don't think so. I, I can't believe that. In this day and age, it must be something else. But what? I probably shouldn't be talking about Vincent like this in front of you, Chad. I can see it's making you feel uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Uh, Chad is a big boy, aren't you, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Hearing about Vincent's ability as a lover is not making him uncomfortable, right, babe? No. No, of course not. Why would it? Right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad because I have to tell you, Vincent is amazing. He's, he's like a Greek god on sexual overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. You don't have any idea who was driving Luis's getaway car, do you? Mm, no. No, no. Well, uh, you'll let me know if he tries to contact you or Sheridan. Huh? Of course. Of course. Good. Well, I think Sheridan must have lost her mind to leave her husband and her child run off and harbor a fugitive. Oh, her mind is working perfectly, Mother. She knows exactly what she's doing. I've got to find her before she manages to take Louise away from me forever. Sheridan. Sure. You need to stop beating up on yourself. You're not a bad person.
You always know how to make me feel better, Louise. Thank you. Lisa Miguel, keep Teresa from marrying Jared. At least I have until Eve releases him from the hospital. I just hope that's enough time. Hey. Hi. How are you feeling? Oh, much better, actually. Dr. Russell came and gave me some really good news. What news? Well, she she came and uh, examined me and changed her mind. She said she doesn't find any reason why we can't get married. Tonight. 